It is estimated that out of every 113 people, one is a refugee, displaced, or an asylum seeker. It is a drama that affects at least 65 million people. In fact, during the year 2015, about 24 people per minute were forced to flee their homes and seek protection elsewhere. But these are just numbers. Journalist Irene Savio has wanted to attach names to the refugee crisis to humanize the problem. And she does so with this book full of personal stories. My name is Refugee. Viajamos a varios países. We traveled to various countries on the Balkan refugee route. What we saw really was very impressive. Even though we had covered conflicts, we had never before seen such a number of people moving so quickly, crossing countries in conditions that looked like the Middle Ages. People were walking for miles and miles on foot, crossing borders under any weather conditions. It is a book written in collaboration with journalist Letizia Alvarez Urguera. It is a trip down the Balkan route followed by those escaping from war in Syria. It covers everything from the anguish of escaping in almost certain death to arriving in Europe and finding only closed doors and distrust. You will also find stories of people that when things got more difficult and the borders began to close, their despair rose to such an extent that they decided to return to their country of origin. In particular, there is this one case of a boy in Lesbos who was in despair because he could not continue his journey. He had suffered mistreatment, particularly psychological, and he decided to return to Syria. At least once a week, the Pope denounces the worldwide indifference to the refugee crisis. This book, which gives a name to the drama, is able to remind that behind news headlines and political decisions, these are people who need help and are not always receiving it.